Um, I have created a website called Coventry Digital, Coventry.digital, um, and it brings together archives about Coventry. So um, if you search for something, uh, it'll come up with uh, Coventry Telegraph Archive, which belongs to the Mirror Newspaper Group, um, Historic England, Coventry Photographs, uh, Culture Coventry, two universities, you know, loads of private um, owned archives. The idea being that you get a much deeper, richer chance to explore. And because I've done this, they will ask me to do something else, but what, because I've, the computer's over there, I've actually got to go and stand over there in order to do anything. So, uh, you know, do, do, uh, do keep looking at the animal screen. So, City of Culture um, asked me to produce another website which is called um, Coventry Atlas. Now, I'm going to right click on that and open that in a new tab just to show you the front page. So, Coventry Atlas takes the assets from my Coventry Digital website and puts them on a map. At least those are the ones that I put the GPS coordinates against. Um, and this allows you to look at Coventry over time and zoom in on a map. Um, and that's what I've been able to do to create uh, a, a larking trail for Phil, which I'll, 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 well, for the uh, Larking Society, um, which I'll show you uh, in a minute. But just to sort of outline this bit of software, works in a mobile phone browser. So if you go to your browser, Coventry atlas.org. Um, the reason that we use mobile phone browser is because um, if you create an app, every time iOS or Android updates, it costs about 10,000 um, for the developers to tweak your own app to it. Um, so if you're ever thinking of building something, just build it in a web page. Do not build an app unless you've got very deep pockets. Um, and so all of these pins are things that you can see in, um, in the Coventry Digital. So if I, I don't know, um, if I click on any one of these, it'll tell me what there is. So there's Barrack Square, and it brings up uh, an original photo of the picture of the square. Um, these have come from, again, lots of different archives, uh, <coughs> Coventry archives, the Public Museum. Um, we also have one here what we call overlays, uh, which are maps of uh, the city. So you can see here there's a um, city redevelopment map of, of Gibsons. Um, this is quite a nice one, it's Hansom, which is uh, Tickner's map of Coventry as an ancient city. Um, and so I'm, I'm just going to hide the pins by clicking that to the corner and slide the tray out of the way and it should centralise the map, and then you can zoom in and have a look at um, Coventry um, way back when, digitised all these maps, these belong to Coventry archives, um, and it's quite sharp, and then you can use the overlay tool there to compare the new with the old, so there's the original uh, cathedral of St Mary's at uh, Henry VIII. Um, destroyed, um, uh, and so on. The final thing is of course trails, and trails are literally some of those pins just connected together along the roadways, and so we've done that for Philip Larkin, well we've done that, I've done that for Philip Larkin, um, so um, Phil uh, Pullen sent me um, these files, um, and I put them on the map, um, I gave them the GPS coordinates so we can start there, I'm going to start at number one, and it's school. And then you can see how the map shows you the best way to walk down. I don't know why it does that little funny room there, <laughs> snapping to, uh, to the footpaths that are on the base map. Uh, but effectively, that will then walk you across to the station, and there's Philip hiding in the back. Um, and then next to uh, Chesham's Prep, uh, on to and with extreme caution, you can cross the ring road <laughs> and look down from what's left of St. Patrick's Road, which was where the T-junction was with, with Manor Road, and, uh, and imagine uh, a rather grand house. Uh, Dr. Brazil and uh, number one quadrant, uh, which is um, at the bottom of Greyfriars Green. Um, we have the precinct, uh, photographed by Philip Larkin. It's, uh, it's changed a bit since then. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's, 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 
Golden Cross Pub, I think Phil's mentioned that at least three or four times. <laughs> but a nice pub right next to the uh, uh, town hall. Uh, onto the town hall, nice letter um, uh, from the council to Philip saying well done. Uh, Herb Art Gallery, as would have been seen by Larkin in, in the 19, um, late 1950s, early 60s. Um, uh, and there's Eva Larkin, his mum at the uh, Cathedral Ruins. Gondry, Pedro, Pedro, that's the last one. Um, each of them has a little bit of text. The text is from Don Lee's original um, tour. Um, if you go to the council, Coventry City Council website and search for um, Larkin, it, the, there's a kind of a page to print off that allows you to go to these locations. It's just, it's not a true map, it's just a list of places to go and find, really. Um, so it's the kind of thing that would accompany a walking tour. But this kind of allows you to go and do it. Uh, we have plans to improve the software, so we're thinking that we might be able to do uh, videos instead of just a single image, and that video might be a, a slideshow of four or five images, if we've got four or five images to show. Um, and we're hoping to improve the, the pathway um, thing so we can edit it, because at the moment it just auto does it. Um, but anyway, that, that's um, one of the ways that we hope that people can begin to sort of explore our this country. And, and really, that's all I wanted to show you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.